डॉक्टर अभिजीत जोशी आय एम अ हेड ऑफ डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ कार्डियोलॉजी ॲट मणिपाल हॉस्पिटल बाणेर आय वुड लाईक टू विश यू ऑल अ व्हेरी हॅपी वर्ल्ड हार्ट डे मोटो ऑफ ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी फोर वर्ल्ड हार्ट डे इज टू गेट युअर हार्ट इन ॲक्शन वॉट डज दॅट मीन वी हॅव हर्ड मेनी न्यूज रिगार्डिंग डेथ ऑफ आर्टिस्ट ॲट अर्ली एज डेथ ऑफ मॅरेथॉन रनर्स इवन ॲट अर्ली एज और लॉट ऑफ हार्ट अटॅक्स अगरिंग ॲट यंगर एज ग्रुप्स वाय दिस इज हॅपनिंग सो वी नीड टू इंट्रोस्पेक्ट आर सेल्फ्स देर आर मेनी फॅक्टर्स दॅट आर प्लेईंग इम्पॉर्टंट रोल इन फॉर्मेशन ऑफ ब्लॉकेजेस इन साईड द आर्टरी विच आर अल्टिमेटली रिस्पॉन्सिबल फॉर हार्ट अटॅक्स सो द होल आयडिया ऑफ दिस ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी फोर वर्ल्ड हार्ट डे कॅम्पेन इज टू मेक द पीपल अवेअर अबाउट देअर रिस्क फॅक्टर्स अबाउट द रिस्क ऑफ हार्ट डिसिजेस अंडरस्टँड द सिमटम्स अँड मोटिवेट देम टू गेट देम सेल्फ चेक्ड अँड गिव्ह देम अ प्रॉपर गोल सो दॅट द थिंग्स विल हॅपन ऑन अ लार्जर बेसिस ऑन अ लार्जर स्केल अँड द थिंग्स कॅन स्टार्ट फ्रॉम माय होम माय सराउंडिंग्स माय ऑफिस माय सिटी माय स्टेट माय कंट्री अँड देन एंटायर वर्ल्ड सो दॅट इज द होल आयडिया ऑफ दिस ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी फोर वर्ल्ड हार्ट डे कॅम्पेन सो वॉट आय फील दॅट we should understand what are the symptoms of heart issues so anybody who is active could walk 4 to 5 kilometers without any problems or could climb 3 or 4 flights of stairs without any problem in recently now the things have changed 3 or 2 or 3 kilometers brings a shortness of breath a chest heaviness uneasiness or undue fatigue or climbing even one flight of stair brings the patient to breathlessness so change of symptoms or change these at newer uh, onset of symptoms is something we should one should look for who are the one who are at higher risk so those patients especially those who are diabetic those who are hypertensive those who have abnormal cholesterol or those who are at those who have a family history related to heart problems so uh, some uncle has a heart attack auntie had a bypass surgery elder brother had angioplasty these are the very high risk category group and the main aim of this campaign is to bring them to the medical services so that they can get themselves checked and what what test we should do very simple get your blood sugar test get your blood test of cholesterol lipid profile get your hba1c and simple test test like stress test and echocardiogram which will give us a overall idea of our heart health and if required some patients may require a higher test like ct coronary angiography or proper coronary angiography to visualize the blockages treatment of heart diseases should be done on priority if somebody who has higher risk and somebody who is having symptoms of say chest pain in the center of the chest sweating uneasiness or some choking sensation patient the person is feeling uneasy restless feel like acidity not getting relief from the antacids one should reach to the hospital which is well equipped with intensive care facility and cardiac catheterization laboratory because reaching in time saves the life and saves your heart muscle as we all know that heart muscle does not have regeneration power so muscle lost is lost forever so somebody who takes long time to reach to the hospital or reach to the medical services they lose their big part of the heart muscle and then ultimately the person or the patient becomes sick the patient has complications the patient has to get hospitalized recurrently for breathlessness so to avoid all that when somebody has symptoms which are likely to be heart heart related please come to the hospital which is well equipped get yourself admitted and under observation and follow the advice of doctors preventive checkups are very very important to avoid such catastrophes preventive checkups include routine cholesterol sugars ecg yearly echocardiogram and treadmill test which can pick up the early signs of heart issues and we can the doctors can treat them in time so that the possible uh, catastrophe can be avoided so my take on this is please understand your symptoms please try to have good lifestyle please be active please avoid 
deep fried and fatty food or avoid this fast food thing try to eat healthy diet be active walk every every day for at least 45 minutes to 1 hour or do some cardio exercises like swimming cycling and please take care of your health by doing periodical checkups if you are diabetic hypertensive or high cholesterol patient control your risk factors aggressively with the help of your doctor and that can help you uh, to have a healthy lifestyle or healthy life in the future thank you very much Thank you.